In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get Canon dual pixel-like autofocus on your Panasonic GH5. So you read the title and you think it's probably clickbait. Well, that's debatable because I'm filming with two different setups right here. One is the Panasonic GH5 and the other is the Canon ADD. So let's test out the autofocus. Now, typically if I'm filming a YouTube setup, I might just show something to the camera and want it to come back to my face. And it has to do that fairly quickly and fairly smoothly and make sure I stay in focus. Let's show this camera and back. Let's do this camera and back. Now I don't rely on autofocus for everything, but it does come really in handy when I'm trying to make YouTube videos. Cause I film videos where I'm out of focus and you guys know it. So if I can have a system that just allows me to sit down, record videos, makes it overall easier. Make sure I just stay in focus. And that's really my benefit of autofocus. I don't really need to shoot a narrative film with autofocus because I'll be behind camera. But when I'm in front of camera, I need some help. So I bought a Canon 80D and actually bought a Canon 70D as well, just to help out with YouTube videos because of their great autofocus. Or so I've heard. But then I messed around with the GH5. It works uh, very closely to the Canon dual pixel autofocus. Now, we had to do more tests with this, but I think overall it's about 80% there. With the GH5, I updated to the latest 2.6 firmware, but also messed around with a couple of settings that you can mess with right now if you don't have the firmware already. And it seems significantly improved and I'm pretty shocked to say the least. Overall, I'm really well pleased of how well the Panasonic GH5's autofocus has improved. Now let's dive into the menus and show you how to do this. I recommend using a native Panasonic lens for your camera. It's going to deliver much quieter results as well as faster focus response time, making it feel more like dual pixel autofocus. You can use an adapted lens like a Sigma 18 and 35 on a speed booster. However, it is going to be a little bit more noisy and it's not gonna be as reliable. Once you put on a native lens onto your GH5, we're ready to unlock the capabilities of autofocus on the GH5. Now the first step to achieving dual pixel like autofocus on your GH5, we need to go into the menu. And with this new update, we have two different settings here, AF on near and far. Now you have two options to choose where you want to set focus. Near is going to change focus based on if it's near the camera and far is going to choose to focus on things that are far. So for this instance, we're going to choose near. And for a lot of vlogging, you want to stick with near. Let's go down. We need to make sure we turn quick AF on and we're gonna go back and we're gonna to go to continuous AF. And we wanna turn this on. Now you have two different options and this is entirely up to you. Mode one is it's going to track autofocus when you are only recording the video and mode two when you are focusing all the time. So it shows you when you're previewing. If you have a native lens, I recommend mode two because it is silent. With an adaptive lens, you're going to get that focus adjustment noise. So we can go to mode one and it's only gonna do it when we record video. Let's leave it to mode two. One thing I wanna mention is the AF custom setting mode. We can control how slow and how fast the autofocus responds. To do that, I have my AF speed set to plus five, the fastest, and there's sensitivity to the most responsive. This has worked for me. Feel free to test it out and try different settings to see what works for you. Now you need to go to the quick menu and we need to choose one area autofocus. This you actually have the option to choose between different types of focusing. We have face tracking, we have tracking, we have 255 area, it's gonna search across the whole image. Custom multi, we can edit this to create a certain point in, within the frame or one area which is gonna focus with this tiny box here, which we can adjust to have it bigger or smaller. I like to keep it right in the center and fairly kind of like medium sized right there. And whatever I am focused on the center is gonna to choose to be in focus. And now it's going to track focus based on what's inside this box here. So for instance, we're focused on this vintage eight millimeter camera. If we wanted to focus on the background, well, we can simply move the camera out of the way and we'll focus on the background. I'll press record so you guys can see this live. We are focused on the back wall 
And now I'll focus smoothly and seamlessly to the camera. I urge you guys to try out these different autofocus modes. For instance, if we want to go into tracking, we can touch on any object. And if we move, it keeps it staying focused on the object. As you see, it's not focusing on the back wall. It is staying on the object. Feel free to try out each one of these settings as each is going to give you a slightly different result and may work better for your certain scenario. Overall, I'm really well pleased of how well the Panasonic GH5's autofocus has performed. If you own a Panasonic GH5, be sure to try it out these settings and see if autofocus can be helpful for you. I know for me personally, I was going to switch camera systems and I didn't really want to do that. I debated going Sony, debated going Canon, but those options I didn't like, they always had some compromise. GH5 had a lot of things I want and provides, but now is that resolved? Is GH autofocus fixed? If so, I think that can change a lot of people's opinions. Now there is some caveats to using this autofocus. Number one, it's going to work a lot better with a native lens. Using adaptive lenses still work very, very well. However, it is noisier, but if you use adaptive lenses on Sony, they're noisy anyways. So I think it's probably comparable there. The other thing is you have to have a well-lit scenario. I think that's going to beneficially improve your autofocus because as I was holding these two cameras, the GH5 missed focus, but so did the dual pixel and low light scenarios. Let me know in the comments down below if this is something you can find useful I definitely like that Panasonic is trying to address the customers. Be sure to subscribe to see future filmmaking tutorials or content on the GH5, and I'll see you later.